IT Expo, Los Angeles, California, 2008. Uh, I'm Eric Lanaz from TMC, coming to you live from Internet Telephony Conference and Expo in Los Angeles, California again. I'm uh, sitting here now with Doug Billum, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Sangoma Technologies. Welcome, Doug. Thanks, Eric. It's a pleasure to be here. So, uh, obviously, uh, Sangoma has done an awful lot um, uh, in the open source space. Um, generally speaking, what are you seeing? in the open source market right now? Well, Eric, we've been in the open source community for a long, long time. In fact, St. Gilmore's been around since 1984. And we have always been in this communications cards PC business. Um, when, we, uh, when we really gained our strength in the open source market was with the advent of Asterisk. Um, prior to that, we were uh, heavily entrenched in the Linux-based routers applications. Um, and you know, we see Linux-based routing and voice as routing ones and zeros, of so synonymous and the same thing. What we've seen over the last year with the uh, with the advent of uh, of Asterisk is we've seen a pretty much leveling of the playing field. Um, there are an awful lot of Asterisk-based PBXs out there. Um, it's uh, there are some vendors who have better selections than others. Uh, there is Intuitive Voice. There is Trixvox. Um, there are some really good applications out there. But now. You know, there's a pretty level playing field out there, and it's time to take it to the next level. And what we're seeing is that Asterisk will become a platform for development and for application hosting, as opposed to a PBX-based application. Now, you mentioned taking, uh, taking the game to, to uh, another level. Uh, you've uh, recently made an acquisition of uh, Parasip Technologies, right? Yes. Um, I guess that plays right into that, uh, taking it to another level. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. Um, we have grown our revenue by 400% over the past uh, three and a half years. And, uh, and we've done that through excellence in engineering and some great sales and marketing. Our, our customer base is in over 140 countries all around the world. Uh, in order to acquire a customer base like that, there's some very important checkoffs. My Russian friend checkoff that we have to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and some of those things focus around um, approvals and certifications in various countries. Um, type approval and telco certification are very important uh, components in, in the open source as well as in the proprietary world. Um, and what that means is that when we are doing certification with, let's say, Singtel, uh, which is uh, the, the national telecom carrier of Singapore, they require a TBR for certification on a PRI stack. And one of the challenges with open source um, signaling stacks is that they don't all have certification. And it's not very compelling for someone to do certification on an open source PRI signaling stack and then provide it to the world <laughs> for access. So signaling is one particular area that tends to be proprietary and binary. And so if you look at PRI and SS7, these are applications that require, at some level, uh, binary components in order to obtain the certifications and the type approvals, and on the SS7 side, conformance testing in order to proliferate and grow sales. So Parixip is a, a, is a Montreal-based company out of Toronto, um, and Parixip is in the business of, well, their, their business is primarily based around win the Windows market. Uh, they make some call center-based solutions, and they also have uh, a, a suite of products that is called NetBorder Express for gateways. Um, and really, NetBorder Express is a suite of software for Windows and Linux that has a SIP interface that allows us to talk TDM. So in other words, speak SIP to the software and we will spit it out TDM. So in the Windows and in the Linux market, we will launch a product over the next week that enables a blob of software that speaks SIP, and if we don't understand the level of SIP that you're speaking, well, we have a mediation server in there so that two SIPs can speak, and then it comes out TDM at the other side. Very compelling reason to buy Sangoma hardware with with NetBorder Express. The the uh, the foray into the Windows environment that's uh, new for you, isn't it? Well, it is new for us. Um, the Windows market is growing. It's a very interesting market. 
Microsoft has come to us uh, on the Windows space. It looks very interesting to us. How is that going to play in with uh, your existing open source strategy? Well, the open source community is very, very important to us. The bane of our existence is the open source world. Over 90% of our revenues come from open source, and it's a very important part of our business. Um, so I don't suspect it will impact our open source initiatives at all in the future. Um, we will have some Windows-based initiatives to service the Microsoft-based applications, as well as the Microsoft uh, Windows operating system um, application. So, so we see it as a, as a dual complementary role. We have always been application as well as operating system agnostic at Sango. Doug, what are you uh, expecting to see here at the show this week uh, in terms of uh, open source? Well, the TMC shows, uh, the, the East and West show here in North America, um, are two of the most important shows that we do all around the world on an annual basis. Um, it's a place where we see our existing customers, we meet existing customers, um, but really what I'm looking to see out of the open source space is the new applications that are, uh, that are become involved with, with um, the open source community. And, uh, and, and what we can do, what the community is doing, to take this concept of the PBX to the next level, to the new platforms. I'm very interested to see what's out there right now. I know SIP trunking, or the concept of, uh, of, of Ethernet, or, or, or SIP, um, is, is very, very popular. Um, I'm not sure it's the most interesting thing out there. Um, uh, however, uh, I am looking to see uh, what the open source community is doing on the platform side. Well, it's uh, certainly a common thought that uh, the applications are driving the market uh, in the communication space today. Um, we've been chatting with uh, Doug Villam from Sangoma Technologies. Doug, uh, thanks for joining us once again. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show, and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance or had a chance to uh, visit Singapore in your dealings with Singtel. Thanks very much, Eric. It was a pleasure. TMC does a great job. Thank, Thank you. you.